Okay, so before we start, if you are new on my channel or if you did not subscribe my channel, just go to my channel and click on subscribe. Make sure that click on this bell button and check mark this send me all notification for this channel and click on save. By doing this, you will get every single update of my new videos. Also visit my channel, I am sure that you will find a lot more cool stuff on my channel. In this video, we are going to create a double light photo effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a double light effect. We will use Photoshop actions for this and these actions link is given in the description bar and the original author link is also given in the description bar. You can check out uh, if you want to purchase these or if you want to download these free of cost then the link is given also in the description bar. You can follow that link and download those actions free of cost. Okay. And before we move further uh, I really want to share something funny with you, <laughs> with you guys because uh, in the previous video, I, I recorded the video very, uh, I was very excited about that effect and uh, I just recorded that and uh, before uh, I, I just mentioned that I have recently installed my new windows on in, on, in that video and uh, I was very happy that work, windows are working very fine. I installed the, uh, my video editing software very uh, I, uh, updated version and it was looks so amazing. I thought uh, maybe there will be some amazing features in that. I just recorded the video. I, I just uh, imported my recorded file into that. I edited that video about like uh, maybe one uh, one hour and thirteen minutes, thirty minutes. And uh, if I I just messed up with that software because features are totally changed. And uh, in the end, when I want to share my video, it says that you have a trial version. <laughs> <laughs> this was very I, I don't know how what how to express that I was very very angry on that uh, and on that situation because I really spent my one or uh, one plus hours on to editing in that video and uh, then what I did I just uninstalled that software then reinstalled the previous version then cracked that and then re-edited that video and then I uploaded that video okay and I think it's just a I, I thought I should just share with you guys and let's just move to the video and before we start as always we'll check what are the output of our actions file so this is our simple image you can see that creating selection around our character and when we, when we will run our actions the final result will be look like this this amazing double light uh, expose you can see that don't uh, don't be worried about this light leak because it's just a selection problem so if you want to make it much better you can just uh, do it right okay so now you can see that it looks much better without the original background and uh, yes this is a light and uh, this is the background light and this is the frontal uh, bouquet we can say that or we can say that some dust and right of that there are 10 plus color options you can make uh, you can add into your uh, image so these are very cool and these effects are really lovely so I recommend you to use these colors also and there is some adjustment layers inside inside that you can overall apply a color or you can just make it a saturated 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 image sorry and uh, this is the overall saturations and some effects this is the gradient one if you want to apply that and that's it what we have done in that video and uh, just close this one move to the next example this example you can see that normal a normal image creating selection around our character and running our actions and the result will be look like this you can increase the light of this side and this side you can increase the backlight you can turn off the background as I showed you in the example and everything anything you want to make uh, in that uh, we can say that editing so let's just close and move to the next example this example 
it's uh, much better uh, creating selection out of a character and uh, running our actions and the result are you can see that I have changed some colors and lights I know it's not uh, contrast very nicely but it's just example to show you yes you can change the colors okay you can even change this bouquet color uh, I will show you I will show you in the video so let's just close this one and I will use this image today let me show you the final results uh, we will try to make it look like this so make, maybe we can change the colors in uh, in the final and uh, in, in the last step so this is the final effect as I showed you so let's just uh, close everything here and uh, let's start from very basic as uh, you have a simple image like this and you want to start from uh, this image you don't have any locked layer it's very very basic okay before we start or preparing our environment of this uh, image let's just load our uh, patterns and some actions so go to edit uh, preset preset manager from the preset manager uh, you will uh, we will set the preset type to uh, patterns as I already sh uh, loaded them into my uh, selection so just click on load when you will load that let's just navigate to uh, navigate this to the uh, our file which you have downloaded and there is a pattern file inside that click and select that uh, file and click on load as I already loaded into my actions palette so I don't need to do that but I have done that so don't be worried about that just click on done and after that it's time to load the actions uh, if you cannot see this icon in the right hand side of the uh, right hand side of your corner or a palette or we can say that of your um, interface just go to windows and click on actions or the shortcut key is alt plus f9 okay uh, i have already loaded it so let's just close this one let's just delete this one uh, yes now just click on this uh, icon top right corner and just click on load actions from the load actions let's just navigate where you downloaded that file and open that file folder and you will see that there is a double light photoshop actions click and select that and click on load that's nice just open that and extract that you will see that a lots of cool things are inside that uh, lots of steps are here but before we run these actions let's just prepare the environment so you can see that there is no background layer so we will select this uh, layer 0 go to uh, uh, layer new and background from layer now it will lo make a lock on this layer and fix this as our background now we want to create a selection so we'll simply just select our quick uh, selection tool and we will create a selection now we will create a new layer and name this layer as area make sure that it should be in lowercase the name should be in lowercase a r e a area and hit enter now we will simply just press d to change our foreground color just click on this color per side panel and we will change the foreground color to red or any color you want to choose so it's not a big deal just press alt plus backspace it will fill this layer with background layer now press control uh, foreground color now press control d and you can see that accidentally we have created a selection on this it's not a big deal just go to uh, eraser tool and just erase that what else uh, left uh, nothing is left here everything is perfectly done and that's it now uh, it's time to run our actions but before we run our actions just click on this side panel icon and click on panel options from the panel options make sure that add copy to copy it layers and groups is checked and we have a RGB image with 8 bit, 8 -bit modes per channel and uh, it should be uh, RGB okay so that's it now what we will do is uh, let's just close this one uh, now time to run our actions so click on run uh, actions select the double light photo actions and go to edit purge and all and click on ok that's done and now we will play the actions panel uh, actions button and it will, we will wait for the process to complete its work the process is complete we will simply just uh, close this side panel and we will check what we can make change in uh, that color you can see that the default color is uh, this side and this red one and let's just start from very basic this is the background you can turn on or off uh, it's not a big deal so I would like to suggest you to turn off this background and now 
it's time to change our, our main light you can see that this is our main light and uh, simply just uh, open this and here is the object plus light central shadow this is the center of the shadow open this up and uh, you can see that there is the center uh, shadow okay and uh, yes uh, it's a uh, black we can change I think to red or you can change it to yellow one or maybe magenta one it's your choice I would not like to touch this one for the time being let's just cancel that and uh, close this one and open the object double light color effect so this is the main light so this is the left one uh, okay open this up and we'll make it a little yellow type color so maybe it looks uh, maybe uh, yep nice now open this side same we will use yellow this is the edge and now we'll open uh, this one don't intense it just a little bit now that's nice close this left one and we'll open the right group okay on this is the red one so we'll simply just select our needed color so which color would you like to suggest click OK and um, I think this type of colors looks much amazing uh, yes that's nice open the third one maybe oops I think we are with uh, let's just uh, I'm just uh, playing with the settings maybe we could find something interesting uh, uh, uh. I think we are fine with that color click on OK now it's that's the time let's just close this object color then left plus right and uh, we'll check the background light this is the uh, backlight open this group and uh, this is the brightness of our image this is the brightness of the background let's just turn this off for the time being and this is the density this is the feather so I would not touch this one close this one select the uh, which is our which we have currently changed just make copies of this uh, not so much you can see that this is very hard so what we'll do is we'll open and click on left select our brush tool which is uh, black is your foreground color and size it up make it soft and now we'll simply just erase this one okay very nice close this and uh, close this one also now we'll move to the backlight so this is the backlight uh, double click to open and we'll select a yellow color uh, or maybe a little little uh, dark yellow it's a lighter one sorry and we'll select here not a pink light just a mixed light nice now what we'll do is we'll create copies of this like this one great this is the dust you can uh, change the color of its uh, uh, dust color this is the change left dust color we could uh, make it uh, uh, we can make it uh, this yellow color and then uh, the right one it should be about like red yes this is nice close and uh, this is the particles close this one this is the effects colors options so you can use any of them you can see that it, these colors gives nice look if you see that this is too much intensive uh, we could just go back a uh, backlight colors uh, sorry this is the photo and we have made a copy so we'll simply just close that one and you will see that it looks much better with light and without light I think with light is much better 
so we will suggest uh, we will check which color we would like to give this image a nice look so i think this first one gives a uh, much nice look ah yes this one it looks much better so that's it and uh, this is the colors selection you can apply a gradient overlay uh, you can make it color or dark no, dark color is not a good deal so make it soft light you can see that it may make it more hard but i don't think so it looks nice it just destroy the detail so i think we are fine with this one and uh, you can play with the settings and you will find a lot more cool uh, outputs from this uh, image uh, from this uh, actions run these actions it will create random outputs and uh, the link is given this in the description bar you can free download these actions and uh, i hope you like this video uh, if you like this video make sure to give this video a right thumbs up we'll meet in our next video never stop and keep learning